A diplomatic showdown is looming over whaling, and this time it's not with Japan. In a surprise move at the International Whaling Commission in Panama, South Korea made clear its intention to resume whaling in home waters. Describing it as a very disappointing development, the Prime Minister Julia Gillard instructed Australia's ambassador to South Korea to lodge an immediate protest. Michael Troy reports. For years, international pressure has been solely on Japanese whalers in the Southern Ocean. Now, South Korea has decided to join them in the hunt, angering many of the delegates at the International Whaling Commission in Panama. Korea has, uh, has uh, announced that they're going to be starting scientific whaling, so killing whales in the name of science, um, and this is extremely bad news. South Korean delegates argued their country's fishermen have hunted whales for 8,000 years. The minke whale population had recovered since a 1986 global moratorium and the 26-year ban has been painful and frustrating for our people who have been traditionally taking whales for food. South Korea says it will only target minke whales in its coastal waters and believes it does not need foreign approval. I am very disappointed by this announcement by South Korea. We are completely opposed to whaling. There's no excuse for scientific whaling and I have instructed our ambassador in South Korea to raise this matter today at the highest levels of the Korean government. We would respectfully say to the South Korean, Koreans uh, don't do it. Diplomatic pressure, though, appears unlikely to succeed, and environmental groups admit there's little governments can do to stop the South Koreans. I think it's a really sad situation for the environment in general that, that people are continuing to hunt, to slaughter whales in this way. It's a really destructive practice. There's frustration too with the International Whaling Commission. The IWC has proven to be a bit of a toothless tiger, so unless countries are able to uh, use other diplomatic measures, uh, the legal options at the moment may well be the most uh, promising in terms of shutting down this proposal. The South Koreans could begin whaling in about six months. Michael Troy, ABC News. A young whale has been rescued from shark nets after it became entangled off the Gold Coast. The alarm was raised when a tourist spotted the 10-metre humpback struggling a few hundred metres offshore. You can see it's jumping out of the water and trying to get untangled from the net, but uh, obviously can't. Rescue crews from SeaWorld and the Department of Boating and Fisheries spent two hours trying to cut the animal free. Their efforts were hampered by rough seas and three large protective males. The animal was heavily caught around the net, around the head and the left hand pectoral fin. So what we wanted to make sure is when we did cut it off that we didn't uh, send the whale away with small parcels of net still on it. The whale was eventually freed to resume its annual migration. Gold Coast shark nets have now got whale alarms attached and today's rescue is the first this season.